Anissa Coy here with Firehouse Education and this week's Ask Anissa video column. And uh, to this week what we're going to talk about is a question that Kate was emailed to me by, I think it was Stacy, and what she asked about was deodorizing. And her question was, I understand after watching some of your videos that you prefer hydroxyl over using ozone. Can you tell me why? So. The reason that I like hydroxyl over ozone, there's a multitude of reasons. Um, ozone can be very effective to eliminate um, odor. The problem that I have with ozone is that it is extremely caustic, not only to items such as rubber, um, leather, um, it, it, it reacts very badly if any of the items that you're trying to deodorize are damp or wet. It also is extremely caustic to any living thing, that being humans, plants, fish in a fish tank, um, pets, dogs and cats, birds. It's just very um, dangerous in my opinion. And so after years of using ozone and having pretty good experience with relieving, removing odor, I was finding that I was having just as big a problem with the, the odor, the chemical smell that was left over after I was done ozoning. And I found that homeowners or building owners really didn't like it. So then I was battling that odor removal. And on top of that, I actually had a few instances where ozone reacted very badly to other chemicals and glues that were in a structure. As an example, a glue down carpet that we were ozoning after we did a water loss in this structure. The ozone reacted badly with the, the um, glue that was used underneath that glue down carpet and I wound up having to pay for and buy about $8,000 of carpeting because I had to rip it up and do some other remediation due to the um, odor issues that were caused with the ozoning. So I'm, I'm just not a fan. Hydroxyl? I've never had a problem with hydroxyl reacting badly to anything. Um, also in our area, we deal with in the Northwest a lot of what we call horns and hides, and we have people that have animal mounts. Now, not only are these animal mounts very expensive, but they're kind of irreplaceable. So we've had to do fires and do deodorizing and stuff and homes that, that have them, and they have been uh, taken to a taxidermist and have been, you know, there's glues and different chemicals that are put to treat that pelt or that skin and um, um, do what taxidermists have to do to it. And the ozone has reacted very badly to those, and hydroxyl never had that problem. So I do prefer hydroxyl over ozone, and one of the absolute biggest, biggest reasons to me is also the safety of my crew. It always bothered me when we used ozone that everyone had to be very, you know, we had to have fitted full face respirators and that it was um, just a very, you know, to go into the area to shut the machine off and things like that when we were doing like a whole house. And it just always really bothered me. And so I prefer the hydroxyl and it does an exceptionally wonderful job of getting rid of any smoke odors and I really like uh, using it. So hopefully that answered your question and I want to thank you very much for spending time on the video this week with me and don't forget be one of those cool kids. Go on up and hit the subscribe button if you're on rnrmagonline.com's website and be sure that you are subscribed to the e-newsletter so that you get this video and lots of other goodies every week in your inbox. Until then, I will see you on next week's video.